Hi everyone, so I'm going to be making the non-dairy Bravo probiotic drink. Uh, this is for people who may be uh, dairy sensitive or perhaps even allergic to dairy or just cannot have dairy in their lives. So uh, this is the alternative and you are still getting all those viable strains of uh, good friendly organisms to really help your microbiome come into balance. So let's get started. So first thing that we're going to have to do when we're making the um, uh, Bravo non-dairy drink is we are going to use uh, store-bought apple juice. I'm using a fresh pressed apple juice um, and I'm only going to be using one liter. I want to stress this. Uh, please do not go over one liter, otherwise you will dilute it too much. It was just the instruction that was given. So I'm going to be putting in cups of 250 mils to make a liter in a glass uh, container as this is going to be where you will be um, fermenting it over the night for, what level, for 24 hours that is. Um, one more cup and we are good to go. So that's it i'm leaving a little bit in the last i'm going to put just a tiny bit in a small glass and the reason that i'm putting this little bit in the small glass is because i am going to mix the um starter kit the probiotic complex kit and the uh chondritin sulfate kit so i am going to just be taking one of these uh which is the orange uh, it's the orange non-dairy Bravo kit. It's the starter kit. So I'm going to be taking one of those. Just going to make sure I uh, put it all to the bottom. Just going to cut that open. And I am going to throw that in the small glass with the apple juice. Uh, then I'm going to take the green, just one packet of the green non-dairy Bravo probiotic complex. And I'm going to open that up and I'm going to make sure that it goes into the glass um, oh another thing is don't refrigerate this before you start fermenting uh, this is on the shelf so you can leave it out as long as it's not opened uh, so I'm going to put in the probiotic uh, mix there we go and uh, lastly I'm going to put in the non-dairy chondritin sulfate supplement just one packet of those this one here you can tear open so it's easier uh, so I'm just going to throw that in to the mix so now you have all three ready to rock so I'm going to take the um, mixer and just start to pulse it and let it mix it all so uh, we wanted we wanted to go and we want it not to have uh, too many clumps. So I'm gonna actually add, I'm just gonna start stirring that a little bit more. Still be doing it. I'm gonna add a little bit more apple juice to the mix, just to make it a little bit more uh, diluted and easier to mix, there we go. Now, I will say this, it doesn't matter if there's going to be a few clumps in there, that's perfectly normal and natural, and um, it will dissolve when it's fermenting, but anyway, at the end of the fermentation, we're going to stop, um, we're going to mix it around a little bit more, but this is uh, stirring very, very nicely, just going to do it for a little bit longer, so just to make sure that I want to get as rid, of, rid of as many clumps as possible and that's pretty much what I'm doing now. Now it's mixed pretty good. So that's good to go and I am going to take this mix and pour it into the glass jar. Now that's your pretty much your starter and I'm just going to take a little spoon and mix this gently around. Like I said, there's probably gonna be a few clumps in there 
but don't worry about that. Uh, once it ferments for um, uh, 40, uh, 24 hours, we're going to remix this. So the sugars are coming from the apple juice. So people who may be sick and don't want sugars, don't worry. The sugar is the food for the organism. So uh, the sugar content will go down uh, as you ferment it. So what we're going to do next is we are going to take a, a foil and just cover it loosely. And then lastly, we are going to take a cloth and cover that. Now you wanted to put this in a, um, an oven is a good place to uh, let it ferment for uh, 24 hours, or you can put it in a cupboard where it's undisturbed, no vibrations, no mixing, no stirring, nothing. Um, you want the temperature to, between, to be between, I would say, 60, 78 degrees, between 60 and 78 uh, is a good temp. Um, it's kind of like room temperature, but just keep it between there and we will check on this in the morning. We will taste it. I'll tell you how it tastes. Um, it's going to taste a little bit differently because we're using apple juice, which I'm looking very, very forward to tasting. I actually have not tried this myself. So this is new for me and I'm looking forward to it. So until tomorrow.